I always believe that everyone is given their own cross to bear and sickle cell is my cross to bear. Sickle cell disease is a genetic blood disorder. It's seen primarily in African Americans. What happens is the red blood cells lose oxygen. The cells uh, become a sickle shape. It clogs up in the blood vessels, which in return causes pain. Trying to manage a, a regular life along with an illness can be very stressful. And I remember being in that hospital bed and telling myself that, you know, I want to quit. I want to quit. I had enough of this illness, yeah, but I don't question, I don't question God's plans. Quite frankly, I've learned to adjust living with sickle cell disease. I'm Mariah. I'm 12 years old, going to seventh grade. I love sketching. I love singing. And I love basketball. I'm going to be singing the national anthem at the Women's National Basketball Association. Yeah. I have sickle cell anemia. And I've been coming to La Robita ever since I was born. It comes off of headaches, fevers, where the body parts mostly hurt from, like my back, my legs, my arms, and my head. It always comes down to me going to the hospital and staying there. I'm Bridget, I'm 23 years old, and I've had type 1 diabetes since I was 9. After seeing my grandparents' health fail from this disease, and then watching my uncle wither away, it's really impacted how I take care of myself. I'm constantly watching what I'm eating and what I'm doing. I have to make sure that I test my blood sugar at least four times a day, and I'm changing my pump sets every three days. They say having diabetes is like being on a roller coaster, constantly going up and down at different speeds. However, when I'm riding my bike, I feel that I'm totally in control of everything, and I know that this disease is never gonna stop me. My name is Macklin and I'm 11 years old. I have had type one diabetes ever since I was 15 months old. Type one diabetes basically means that your pancreas breaks. This is my pump. It kind of is what gives me all the insulin. This is pretty much what I live off of. Is other people would use an injection. I don't, I just don't like needles. This is my meter. And last of all, I have a poker. If I was to poke myself, it would um, make some blood come out of me. Sometimes I even think I have more responsibilities than an adult. My name is Lawrence Clark. I have a mild case of cerebral palsy which affects your motor and skills. With me, it affected the right side of my body. The one major challenge was being able to be outside on my own. The therapy that I received at Lara Beta was practicing balance and walking up and down flights of stairs. They designed braces to help me stand up straight and walk. They always called to check on me and made sure I was doing well. They became a family to me. It's always best to stay determined and never give up because you are in control of your future. Things that we take for granted, it's tough for a child that has cerebral palsy. It's tough for her to climb the stairs uh, because she cannot walk. She knows that that is our goal, and that's what she's going to do, because that's what she wants to do. She's never seen anyone that has Sarah Palsley walk. What's your name? My name is Lawrence. What did I tell you about one day you're going to be doing what? Walking. Look at Lawrence. Right. Yeah. Look at Lawrence right here. Look at him. Yeah. And he's driving. And he went to college. Yeah, man, you can do the same thing. Just got to keep up with physical therapy and never quit. Never quit. Never give up. Never, never give, up. Up. give up. No chance. Every time I entered the doors of Larabita to be treated, I knew that I was going to leave with new knowledge and tools to help take care of myself and make my life better. Most of the time I think of myself like a normal kid. 
but every once in a while I'll think I'm different and stuff. Right? That's a good one. You know, I'm uh, walking around and I see somebody else with a pump, I'm like, oh my gosh, you have one too. Heroes come in many shapes and forms. For me, some of my main heroes at Larabita were definitely my healthcare team. At home, it's always been my family. And in my life, I think I'm a hero for kids that live with this disease just like me. Larabita holds a special place in my heart because that's where I learned to grow and learn how to live with my illness. But as I got older, my doctors and the people in my life, my Larabita family, made sure that I had everything that I needed to be successful in fighting this thing, sickle cell disease. Currently, I'm a senior at Morehouse College in Atlanta, Georgia. I am studying biology with aspirations of becoming a pediatric hematology nurse practitioner. I want to dedicate my life to working with children with sickle cell disease. To those that have learned they are just diagnosed cell disease, I would say to you that understand that you are no different from anyone else. But you have to embrace this lifestyle head on, keep a positive mindset. Lawrence Clark. Be strong mentally and physically. Understand that this cannot defeat you, that you have the power in your hands to defeat this. As long as you keep pushing forward, understanding that you have people by your side, that you can be great and do whatever you want in life. Don't let this illness stop you. Thank you.